All right, everybody, so it looks like we got three and a quarter cups of flour. I've got a big bucket of flax seeds, so I'm gonna go one, it's just like flour, uh, two, uh, three cups, and here is a quarter cup. So I'll put three full cups and a quarter. That's three and a quarter cups. And if Diane is using only half the recipe, how much flour should you use, right? And so without doing any mass, let's try to estimate. We've got three and a quarter cups in there. So what would a half look like? Like what if I what if I got a ruler and I, I, I just split it up in two? That's a half, isn't it? And I just take this half, right? So let's see if we can estimate what a half is before we begin. So it's a three of three and a quarter altogether. What do we think a half should be? Oh yeah, yeah, just, yeah, no, it's, yeah. <laughs> right, right, right. So, uh, so yeah, so a half is probably, it's it's got to be less than three and a half cups for sure. It might be two cups or one cup or one and a half cups, something like that, right? So the math of it is just, um, yeah, the math of it is just getting, we need to get one half of three and a quarter, right? cups. Now, of means multiplying math. So it's a half times, and we can turn three and a quarter into a mix, or to an improper fraction. Four times three is 12, 12 plus one is 13, 13 quarters. When we multiply the fractions, one times 13 is 13, two times four is eight. But eight into 13 goes one time, remainder, now 13 minus eight, of course, is five, so remainder is five eighths. So the answer is one and five eighths of a cup. So instead of using the three and a half cups of flour, you have to use half of that, which is going to be one cup and five eighths. So hopefully she's got some eighth of a cups around to make that perfect. Or in fact, you could do uh, one and a half cups and then you could get a quarter cup and estimate to get an eighth. Like there's like uh, a half of a quarter, or no, sorry, sorry. Yeah, half of a quarter cup is equal to one eighth. Because look, one half times one over four is one times one is one, two times four is eight. So if you've got a quarter cup lying around, you can get half of that to get an eighth of a cup. Make sense? Anyway. <laughs> All right.